Coming up in this video, I get to fulfill a lifelong ambition of flying an aerobatics plane, as well as taking a flight in a training aircraft that has a full glass cockpit. This is the Seven Air Academy here in Cascais, just to the outside of Lisbon in Portugal, and they very kindly invited me today to come to their open day and have a look around. Seven Air have many sides to their business, including an airline, a skydiving school, and of course, the Seven Air Academy. So this right here is the simulator that they've got here at the Seven Air Academy, and it can be configured for a number of aircraft. At the moment, it's a TB20 at the moment, actually. Now, I've never flown in a full simulator before, so it was great to have a go at a circuit, which resulted in, well, a semi-smooth landing. Uh, you're high on the plane. Just a little bit more, a little bit more down. And now. There you go. So the Seven Air Academy here then in Cascades, they have um, a fleet of many different aircraft, predominantly these Technam aircraft. The Technams are equipped with a full glass cockpit, just like in a commercial airliner. This one, the FMS, you hit here, map. Okay, and then you have submenus. You have 1,000 submenus, okay? <laughs> Auxiliary, okay, it's like the departure wow. time, if it is yeah. like this, okay? Calibrated, indicated the pressure, the total air temperature. Oh, the coffee crazy. machine is not here, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> everything else. Yeah, everything else. Wow. Yes. Well, it's incredible, okay. the four-seater aircraft, yeah. this single engine. It's, this is design. Design. it's awesome. Incredible. Okay, here to okay, for the autopilot, yeah. like director having now wow. the approach, altitude, the nose up, nose down, which which means for the vertical speed that it has 230 liters of fuel yeah. and it makes five hours yes. so okay. we call it the the cow yeah it's the cow because it's <laughs> heavy so much, it's yeah. so heavy <laughs> and it takes a little bit to take off you yeah. know that everybody complains about the plane but i think the plane is actually the dashboard and all of that it's, oh, it's incredible. clean it's nice so one thing that happens here at these Seven Air Academy Open Days is that every single person who comes gets their trial flight lesson included in their Open Day as well. Something that a lot of the schools don't do, but they do it here. So but I'm going to take a ride in one of these Technams with them and have a go. That's a ground. Seven Air one Open Day. Seven Air Six One Hundred 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 Seven Air Yeah, the brakes are not really affected in this aircraft. Sometimes when they are we have to warm them up a bit. Taxiing the tech now takes a little bit of practice as the nose wheel is essentially just a loose trolley wheel and the steering is controlled entirely by differential braking. is let's just say a little bit sluggish on the climb out. It has a 115 horsepower Rotax engine but combined with the high temperatures here in Portugal it made for a very sluggish climb. Still the views we got as we flew along the coast of the west of Cascais were beautiful and the slow flight just gave us all the more time to admire them.
flight in the little tech nam, but my next flight would be something altogether more special. Done. Very nice. For the price. <laughs> Noel, it was a pleasure, man. Thank you. I'd like to say a big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. By now, I don't think I need to tell you how much a VPN product helps to protect your data when you travel in the world, connecting to public Wi-Fi in the most remote regions. Using a VPN also lets you catch up on entertainment from your home country wherever you are in the world. For me, it's great to be able to watch Netflix shows from home while I'm in Asia. I am never going to financially recover from this. Or watch live TV from the UK while I'm sitting in an airport in Canada. With Surfshark, you can browse the web just like you sat in your living room. There's also countries out there that censor your internet access or even block websites such as Facebook. But with Surfshark, you just click on the connect button and you're online, unrestricted. Some public Wi-Fi stops you from accessing streaming services such as YouTube and Netflix unless you pay a higher price for access, but with Surfshark your session is completely encrypted so you can sit and watch your favourite YouTubers even on the cheapest packages. Surfshark are offering you a cool 83% discount and 3 extra months for free when you use the link below with promo code NOLPHILLIPS. For the next part of my 7 hour adventure I headed down to 7 Air's base at Portimao on the Algarve for a ride in something a little more sporty. So that's my ride today, it's an extra 300L based out of here at Portimao. I'm going to be going up in a little while and have some aerobatics. Very cool. I am so beyond excited about this. I've been wanting to do aeros for so long. We close the canopy. Yeah, we're here. That's okay, it's okay, we go. Yeah, okay. Clear up! My only experience of anything close to aerobatics was the spin training I did when I got my PPL. Since then, my wings have remained entirely in the upright position. Until now. is insanely powerful and climbs out steeper than any aircraft I've flown before. It weighs just 600 kilos empty, less than a Fiat Panda, and combined with its 300 horsepower engine, it all makes for one exciting ride. After a bit of playtime, it was finally time for me to take the controls. Once I'd got used to just how incredibly sensitive the controls on the extra were, with just the slightest tap of control input sending the aircraft rocking from side to side, it was time for me to unleash my inner Grand Theft Auto pilot. First roll complete, and I was hungry for more, so I had another go. Those hours of playing on flights in finally came in handy, Rach. Next up, I decided to try my hand at a loop, which wasn't perhaps the most stylish.
yeah, I don't think I'll be joining the Red Arrows anytime soon. Still, stick to what I'm good at. Let's try another couple of rolls. British version of Patty Wagstaff had finished my little air display for the residents of the Algarve, Julio took the controls again to take us back to the airport, how else but inverted. Approaching the airport, Julio had one more surprise up his sleeve, an impromptu air display right over the airport. Flying an aerobatics plane has to be hands down the most fun I've ever had flying a plane so far. I left Portugal really tempted to start my aerobatics rating. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to check out my other video from Portimao of me being thrown out of a plane. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't much fun. Anyway, link's on the screen now if you want to watch it. Wow, how flipping cool was that in the little extra 300? That was like the most enjoyable light aircraft flight I think I've ever done. That was so cool and I got to do some stuff myself as well. Awesome! So there you have it, and all another awesome day here of flying at Portimao in the extra 300 how flipping cool was that that is certainly the coolest flight that i've ever done um, for sure let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below as always and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i do crazy stuff like this all the time and if you love planes just as much as i do hit that subscribe button you're never going to miss another video well in the meantime as always thanks so much for watching take care and i'll see you next time